hype stock early 2021 that peaked back then in the recent time that a lot of people saw and they loved. Here's the example. Look at where they were. End of 2020, they were at $2 a share. By February, they'd hit $28 or so dollars per share. And everybody's excited. This is the next best thing. This is awesome. And of course, I'm sure in some of our videos back then, we, we said, please be cautious. These are hype investments. They aren't necessarily investments because of that reason. So we're here to talk about fuel cell again. If you're new to this channel, I'm Paul. I'm a value investor. My goal is to buy an asset when I think the price is below the long-term value. And I look at the numbers and I look at the quantitative aspects of the business using our eight pillar process to determine if I'm interested in the company or not. Now, here's something that's very exciting about fuel cell. It's been around since 1969. Look at the max chart. Back in 2000, this stock was upwards of $7,000 a share. It's currently at $4 a share. So let's go to the income statement. This is the last 10 years. I see no profit all the way down here. No profit. Okay, let's go to the previous 10 years. No profit. Okay, let's go to the previous 10 years. Oh, profit. 1998, they made 600,000. All these round numbers right here. Look how this round numbers right here. Guys, this is, they haven't made money in 20 some years. And this to me immediately, I go to our eight pillars. Look at the number of shares outstanding, skyrocketing, 10,000% more. No, nothing here. Negative, negative revenue growth, negative net income. Very simply, guys, this is the too hard pile. I have no idea what's going on in this company and I'm not going to waste my time looking at it. And that's the way you should be as an investor. There are 10,000 stocks out there. My goal is to teach you to understand the basics of business and understand that you are buying a piece of a business. So if you can't understand it, you move on. And in this situation, when I look at that profit number and I look at these revenue numbers, look at these revenue numbers, they're all over the board. There was growth in the, in, in the last decade, but recently it's fallen and gone back up. It could very well be the next best thing in the world. But for right now, if it's the next best thing in the world, it's all because of luck. It's not because I saw something and I said, I'm using my process to determine this. It's so easy for the average person to see this, even in the last three years, to see this run up and get excited. But that parabolic run had a fall. And down here, you were like, oh, thank God it's back. 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 This one's real. Oh, that's back. It's back. Oh, it's back. Oh, guys, this is, this is right out of the textbook of collapses. I'm quite sure I'm willing to bet money that ARK Investment, like Fred and Kathy Wood, probably had buy, when buying the stock or was looking at it back then. And I, and I look at these things and think to myself, oh, I'm gonna have nothing to do with that. It didn't make any sense. At that point, the company is currently a billion and a half dollars. So if it was at 27, that means it was a, about a $10 billion company. $10 billion company. What was it doing in revenue? $64 million, $100 million. It was 100 times revenue. That's even high for a technology business. I don't get this company. And if you sit there and make your investment decisions based on what this chart shows you, more power to you, but you need to join our bid and ask nation because our friend Mo on the channel uses charts to make money, but he doesn't care anything about the fundamentals. I even trade with charts. I don't care anything about the fundamentals, but when I invest in a business for the long run, what matters most to me is the fundamentals telling me what's the value of the company over the long run. And the price is selling below that, then I enter it. Now here's the issue. We have our stock analyzer tool here. Our stock analyzer tool we can use to determine what to pay for the company based on future assumptions. But guys, where am I making my assumptions? They're all going to be arbitrary and random. I have no place. What about their profit margin? Look at their profit margin. They had negative 120% in profit last year. In the last 10 years, they've lost an average of 53%. The last five years, over 100%. What do I do here? I have no clue how to even input any of this. The too hard pile immediately. And I move on. Can I be missing out on the next big investment? Sure. I don't look at it that way. I look at it as, thank God I avoided the next catastrophe. Because 99 out of 100 of these are going to be a major catastrophe. And the one that makes it, it's not going to go very well. It's not going to account for the other ones that go very well, that, that don't go well at all. So if this makes sense to you, I highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel and watch more videos. It's all about a mindset and a process to successfully invest. But just like James Clear says in Atomic Habits, it's not necessarily about always getting better. It's about avoiding your misses. Make your misses a lot better. Don't make your misses ones that fall 99%, 80%. And we've seen how many stocks since February of 2021 fall 70, 80, 90%. Have I had my falls? Absolutely. I've had my falls. But when my stocks fall, 
and I reassess them and determine the business has not changed, just the public's perception of it, I buy more of it. That is my goal because buying a stock is buying a piece of a business and the public's response to news is going to drive the stock price because in the short run, stocks are a voting machine. In the long run, they're a weighing machine. What that means is in the short run, if they're popular, the stocks are going to go up. If they're not popular, they're going to go down. But in the long run, the fundamentals and the balance sheet and the business numbers are what's going to win and drive the stock price. That is the key I want you to understand. Because if you owned your own business, and I told you today you're making 100000 and in 10 years, your business is making a million. If I asked you how much is your business growing in value, you'd probably say probably about 10 times and you'd be accurate. But if you paid 30 times the price today versus what you should pay, your stock price will probably go down. Your business value will go down based even if stock even if the profit goes up 10 times and we've seen this happen over and over go look at intel cisco all these companies back in 2000 that are selling for less than they were back in 2000 they make more money they have more revenue and their stock price is lower why because people were overpaying back then if this makes sense to you and you want to understand the whole concept of margin of safety you need to watch this next video on margin of safety and please subscribe to our channel because it's a great way to be as being a value investor thank you very much for your time